Good afternoon all. I am Dr. K. Anandi, Assistant Professor, Department of Mathematics, BSN College of Engineering and Technology. Yes. In this section, I am going to define an initial value problem. Yes. For an, in an initial value problem, I am just taking a Rangipeta method. First, I am just giving a formula for a Rangipeta method. How we are going to solve or we are going to apply. First, I think first order range Rangipeta method. Y1 is equal to Y0 plus H into Y0 dash plus H square by 2 Y double dash of 0 plus etc. The second order again term method is nothing but finding K1 and K2 in the way just we are calculating our delta Yn as half times K1 plus K2 where Yn plus 1 is equal to Yn plus delta Yn. Next third order again term method K1 is equal to H f of Xn comma Yn and K2 is equal to H into f of this thing. In third order range, we are calculating our K1, K2, K3 and finding our delta Yn as 1 by 6 of K1 plus 4 times K2 plus K3 and I'm calculating our Yn plus 1 is equal to Yn plus delta Yn and Rangikuta order of fourth order, Rangikuta method of fourth order. In fourth order, we are calculating K1, K2, K3 and K4. And our delta yn is nothing but 1 by 6 times of k1 plus 2 into k2 plus 2 into k3 plus k4 and calculating yn plus 1 is equal to yn plus delta yn. The main advantage of a Rangipeta method is nothing but to calculate yn plus 1 we need value of yn alone. It means we need a value of x1 and y1 for y2. If we need ym means we need value for x n minus 1 and y n minus 1 alone enough. No need of any initial values. So we are going to move on to the question. First one, find the value of y of 1.1 using first subdivision Rangikuta method of third order and second subdivision Rangikuta method of fourth order. And it has given that our question dy by dx is nothing but y square plus x y with the initial value y of 1 is equal to 1. The question contains two subdivision, first one up to third order, then the second subdivision is nothing but fourth order. First we can just take a general given information, solution, Rangipeta method of third order. Okay. What are they are given? They are given dy by dx nothing but f of x comma y is equal to y square plus x y and our x node is nothing but 1 and our x1 is nothing but 1.1 our y node is equal to 1 and our h is equal to 0 0.1. They have mentioned that these things in a single way of y of 1 is equal to 1. We have described in detail. And next we are calculating about third order Rangikuta method. In third order Rangikuta method, we are calculating k1, k2 and k3. First, let us consider our n is equal to 0. Then our formula k1 is nothing but h into xn comma yn. Where nothing but f of x0 comma y0. Putting the value, we just obtain our k1 as 0 0.2, which is 0 0.1 into 1 square plus 1, nothing but 0 0.2. Similarly, on applying our value of k1 and the x and h yn, we just calculate our value of k2, where k2 is nothing but a formula h f of x n plus h by 2 comma y n plus k1 by 2. And finding the value of k2 as 0.2365. On substituting our k1 value, we just obtain the value of k2. In the same way, substituting our value of k1 and k2, we obtain value of k3 by using the formula h into f of xn plus h comma yn plus 2k2 minus k1. On substituting the values of both x0, h, y0, k1 and k2, we have obtained our k3 as 0 0.2957. On, on substituting all the value of k1, k2 and k3, we calculate the value for delta yn. As we are considering the case for n is equal to 0, we substitute our n is equal to 0. So, delta y0 is equal to 1 by 6, k1 plus 4k2 plus k3. On substituting all the values, we obtained 
delta y naught is nothing but 0 0.2403 and we can calculate the value of delta y n plus 1 by using the formula y n plus delta y n nothing but as our case in considering the case as n is equal to 0 substitute n equal to 0 in the above equation we obtain y1 is equal to y0 plus delta y0 which is nothing but 1 plus 0 0.2403 nothing but 1.2403 this is the value for our y1 which can be obtained by using only our x0 and y0 this is the one of the main application of the Rangikuta method so in order to get an y1 value we need only value of x0 and y0 next Rangikuta method of fourth order we are moving to the second subdivision as we completed our first subdivision in the same way we are calculating for the fourth order in the fourth order we are going to calculate k1 k2 k3 k4 and delta y0 and delta and we are going to using our delta y0 calculating y1 yes first move on to the formula let n is equal to 0 and calculate our k1 as it is as yearly we can calculate in the same way we can obtain as 0.2 and k2 h into f of xn plus h by 2 by using the formula and substituting the value of k1 we obtain our k2 as 0 0.2365 similarly obtain substituting the value of h, k2 h and x0 y0 we obtain our k3 next we are calculating our k4 mu e h into f of xn plus h comma yn plus k3 substituting our k3 value we obtain our k4 as 0. 1, 2, 1, 1. In this, by using our K1, K2, etc., K4, we are calculating our decrement of increment of delta y naught. I think but 1 by 6 times of K1 plus 2K2 plus 2K3 plus K4, which has been obtained as 0 0.1104. Next, by using our delta y naught, we are calculating our yn plus 1 and substituting n equal to 0, the equation becomes y1 is equal to y0 plus delta y0 and we obtain the value as 1.1104 next thing next question by using Ranikuta method of fourth order find y of 0 0.2 from that y dash is equal to dy by dx is equal to y minus x where y of 0 equal to 2 and taking our h as 0 0.1 they have mentioned our h so we have to take the h value as 0 0.1 solution for the given problem let's first we have to take what are the given items we have x0 is equal to 0 it takes them from y of 0 that x0 x, x1 is equal to 0 0.1 taking value from our h x2 is equal to 0 0.2 next y2 is equal to 2 h is equal to 0 0.1 and the given function dy by dx is nothing but y minus x they have mentioned to use our Rangikuta method of fourth order. So, only by, uh, we are going to use about formulas of a fourth order. In a Rangikuta method of fourth order, we just calculate our k1, k2, k3, and k4. Let us take our n is equal to 0. Next, find the value for our k1. k1 is nothing but h into f of x0, y0. Substitute the value of x0 and y0 in the given equation which is x minus 1 which is given as an y minus x substitute y value and x value we obtained our k1 as 0 0.1 on substituting our h value and x0 value y0 value and the k value we obtained our k2 by using the formula h f of x0 plus h by 2 comma y0 plus k1 by 2 which is nothing but 0 0.2 Next, calculate our k3 by using the formula h into f of x0 plus h by 2, comma y0 plus k2 by 2. In which we are substituting our n as 0, that's why we are having x0 and y0. On substituting x0 value, h value, y0 value and k2 value and making some applications, we just obtained it. Making some calculations, we have obtained k3 as 0.205. Next, we are calculating our k4. k4 is nothing but h into f of xn plus h comma yn plus k3. In which, as we are considering our n as 0, our k4 is equal to h into f of x0 plus h comma y0 plus k3. 
on substituting the value of a h x not y not and our k3 we obtain the value of k4 as 0.2105 thus by using our rank equator method we have obtained the value for k1 k2 k3 and k4 thus we substitute in delta y not increment value uh, by using the formula 1 by 6 times of k1 plus 2k2 plus 2k3 plus k4 on substituting all those values k1 k2 k3 k4 value we obtain our delta y naught as n is equal to 0 we have obtained delta y naught nothing but answer 0 0.1104 by using our delta y naught we can calculate our y n plus 1 by putting n equal to 0 we have y1 is equal to y naught plus delta y naught which is nothing but 1 plus something we have obtained 1.1104 as our y1 Next question, using rank equator method to approximate y when our x is equal to 0 0.1 and 0 0.2, 0 0.3 with, with the interval h is nothing but 0 0.1 given y is equal to 1 when x equal to 0 it means y of 0 equal to 1 instead of y of 0 equal to 1 they have mentioning y equal to 1 and when x equal to 0 and dy by dx is equal to x plus y our answer is for before entering into our answer just we have given that like, what are the informations given in the question first let us take the informations they have given x0 equal to 0 and x1 is equal to 0 0.1 x2 equal to 0 0.2 and x3 equal to 0 0.3 next y0 is equal to 1 and h is equal to 0 0.1 and the given function dy by dx is nothing but f of x comma y is nothing but our x plus y these are the information which have been mentioned in the shortcut way by using our rank equator method we are just of fourth order, we are going to calculate our y1 by using our delta y0. For delta y0, we are going to calculate our k1, k2, k3 and k4. Just first we have to calculate our k1, k2, k3, k4. Yes. First one, let us consider our n is equal to 0. Then k1 formula is nothing but h should be xn comma yn. As n is equal to 0, we have to apply f of x0 comma y0. By substituting our x0 value and y0 value and h value, we obtained our k1 as 0 0.1 into 1, nothing but 0 0.1. In the same way, by substituting our k1 value, we obtained our k2 in the same formula and we obtained the answer as k2 equal to 0 0.1. Next, by using our k1 and k2, we are just obtaining our k3. Formula is nothing but k3 is equal to h into f of xn plus h by 2, comma yn plus k2 by 2. As n is equal to 0, as we are considering our n is equal to 0, we have to substitute n equal. Instead of n, we are going to put at 0. So k3 is equal to h into f of x0 plus h by 2, comma y0 plus k2 by 2. And we obtain the, our answer as k3 is equal to 0 0.1105. And again, similarly, we are just obtaining k4 as h into f of xn plus h, comma yn plus k3. We are going to substitute our n is equal to 0 and h value and x0 value, y0 value and k3 value, we obtained our k4 as 0 0.1211. By using all those values, that k1, k2, k3, k4 value of Rajikuta of fourth order, we are going to substitute in delta yn and we obtained the answer for delta y0. As n equal to 0, we obtained the value for delta y0 as 0 0.1104. And after finding our delta y0, we are going to calculate our y1 for by using the formula yn plus 1 is equal to yn plus delta yn where n is equal to 0 we obtain y1 is nothing but y0 plus delta into y0 our answer is 1.1104 next first we have taken our n as 0 and find the value for y1 next we are going to consider our n as 1 and we are going to calculate our y2 for our y2 Next, let us consider kn is equal to k1 is equal to h into f of x1 comma y1. I think what xn comma yn as n equal to 1, we are just substituting x1 and y1. Just for k1, h or a value, we are going to substitute our h value and f of x1 and y1 value. And we obtain the answer as 0 0.121. In the same way, before step, we obtained, we have find k1 value by using our x0 and y0. 
in this step you are going to obtain that x1 and y1 value thus this is one of the important application of our magnitude method if we need x1 value means we need if we need y1 value means we need only x1 y1 value x0 y0 value same thing just we need one thing means we have to know the prior values alone enough not necessary all the readings just k2 by using our k2 formula h into f of x n plus h by 2 comma y n plus k1 by 2 and substituting our n is 1 we obtained our k2 as 0 0.1321 in this value we are just applying our x1 value y1 value h and k1 h value remains the same for all n is equal to 0 or 1 whereas x0 value x1 values are varying in the same way by substituting our k2 value we obtained our k3 value as k3 is equal to by using our formula k3 is equal to h into f of x0 plus h by 2 y1 plus k2 by 2 we obtained our k3 as 0 0.1326 next by using our k1 k2 and k3 we have obtained the value for our k4 as 0 0.1443 <coughs> next on substituting k1 k2 k3 k4 we calculate our delta yn delta yn is equal to 1 by 6 into k1 k2 etc on substituting n equal to 1 we obtained our delta y1 which is nothing but 0 0.1325 <coughs> next by using our delta yn we are calculating our y2 as by using the formula y n plus 1 is equal to y n plus delta y1 by substituting n equal to 1 we obtain y2 y2 is nothing but y1 plus delta y1 next let us consider the case for n is equal to 2 first earlier we have obtained n is equal to 0 and n is equal to next n is equal to 1 next n is equal to 2 for n is equal to 2 we are calculating the same k1 k2 k3 and k4 in here we are using only the value of x2 and y2 not the prior x0 y0 or x1 and y1 we are using our x2 and y2 next it's a continuous process like that so k1 is equal to h will be of x2 comma y2 k1 this value is nothing but 0 0.1451 next k2 value by using our formula k2 is equal to h will be of x2 plus h by 2 comma y2 plus k1 by 2 by substituting all the values which is nothing but h value x2 value y2 value and k1 value we have obtained our k2 as 0.1574 next similarly by substituting our k2 value we have obtained our k3 and k4 by substituting all those values k1 k2 k3 k4 we have obtained our delta y2 value as 0.1565 by substituting our delta y2 we have obtained our y3 value y3 is nothing but y2 plus delta y2 1.4074 this is our y3 value just that's why we are calculating our x0 as x1 0 and x1 taking 0 0.1 and x2 for 0 0.2 and x3 equal to 0 0.3. Thus, we are calculating our sum for 0 0.1 considering n equal to 0. For x equal to 0 0.2, we are considering our n is equal to 1. For x equal to 0 0.3, we are considering our n as 2. In this, in this way, we have calculated our y1 next y2 next y3 yes that's the problem yes this is your running method of fourth order thank you